The Egyptian presidential office announced only two telephone calls President el-Sisi made regarding the recent developments in Gaza. Egypt stressed to the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas on the need to halt all military operations to avoid a, quote, vicious cycle of violence that will only claim more lives. But the Sisi might not be as effective as ousted President Mohamed Morsi in that regard, given that the Gaza Strip is under Hamas's control, an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood, which he has declared total war against. Regardless of the administration ruling Egypt, no one needs to doubt the support of Egypt to the Palestinian people. Since it began, and Egypt fought wars for the Palestine since 1948 and through 1956, 1967, up to 1973 wars. Even Hamas Khaled Marshall has praised the Egyptian army's role in Palestine. Morsi, on the other hand, felt comfortable to send his Prime Minister Qandil to the Strip during the 2012 Israeli strike and open the Rafah passage for humanitarian aid. Influence over Gaza is just one factor El Sisi needs to reach a ceasefire. Egypt will exert all efforts to help throughout the crisis. On Wednesday, the passage was open for the injured and hospitals in Egypt have been evacuated to stand by to receive all cases from Gaza. Every time a truce is reached, mainly with Egypt's effort along the communications with Jordan, Israel and sometimes the United States, the problem this time is the escalation from both sides in the conflict. We're seeing rockets penetrating farther places than before inside Israel. The fighting has elicited cautious reaction from Egyptians. Political parties have restricted their response to press statements condemning the strikes. Others called for a protest on Thursday to support Palestine, but only a dozen showed up. We thank the Egyptian administration for opening the Rafah passage, even if it came late. But we need more decisions from Arab countries. We want an urgent meeting of the Arab League with practical decisions to put more pressure on Israel, either by expelling the ambassadors or economic decisions to support Gaza with nutrition and medicine. Many challenges lie ahead of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to have a significant role in resolving the Israeli strikes on Gaza. It has become his first challenge to test his skills in international politics. Adil Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.